Hold on, brother, chase him. Say my name, I pop up like the boogeyman. Yo, okay, yo, we are drop. back in After Effects. And this is the boogeyman face effect. I'm gonna show you how to create today. This was actually firstly done by Spooky, sub by ED, and VFX Victor. They really killed it on the video, so I'm gonna show you how to break down it. I'll leave their sources down below so you can check them out. Before we get into the video, I want to make a little announcement that I just launched my new pack, which is Grunge Default and Grunge Add on. These are two different packs that I bundled in one. So you will have a great offer on purchasing this. These two packs allow you to create these cyber grungy effects because it's two different packs so you are really getting like 60 plus assets in there all are unique and have their own style so make sure to check them out but for now let's just go out to our main composition where i have the rock clips big shout out to spooky again for providing me with the rock clips too so the first thing we're gonna do is get our image i already searched up in google and found this two image this is a buggy man marks i guess that i searched up online and found this and this is a chain model i'm gonna use so let's just drag both of this into my composition into my project file i mean and firstly we're gonna drag the buggy man face in our composition like that we're gonna add this right where he said i'm gonna pop up like a buggy man so right where he says buggy man which is around here we're gonna trim it in the end so it's gonna pop up like that and it's gonna be on the second guy face over here in the next scene so first let's just scale it up and start masking out around his head because we want this transparent so let's just select it like this around his face doesn't have to be perfect but make sure not to get those white areas in the background First, I'll be adding black and white in here. So my image turned into black and white, of course. Then we're gonna add like a curves. After you add a curves, I'll push the shadows a lot like this and make the highlights a bit white and just push the shadows yeah this looks good to me so after that you can toggle switches and modes and set the blending mode to screen and you can see now our buggy man face is transparent kind of transparent you can say now we'll check our chain model and start masking out our chain first let's just grab a pen tool and start masking out this maybe we don't have to mask out because our background i'm gonna Gonna make a rough marks like this around the jewelry and put it right here where it's supposed to be i'm gonna move both of these a bit further like that then to remove the blacks we're gonna add a black and white first to remove all the colors and remove the blacks just set the blending mode to screen again after that you're gonna add like a curse in it and do the same thing if you can like i guess this image is a lot higher than my marks layer so i'm gonna select this and add like a fast box blur before my curves and set the blur amount to something like three nah three would be too much uh let's put it after yeah let's put it after i'm trying to make it a bit brighter too this is perfect now then just select both of this layer pre-comp let's just pre-comp it like that and after pre-comping you will also see the blacks to remove that set the blending mode to screen again and it should get removed then after that we're gonna animate a simple position of it so let's make it to 0 to 100 and hit f9 to easy ease go into graph and make a simple tight graph like this yeah pop up like the buggy man and also turn on the motion blur and now you can see it looks pretty solid already but i'm gonna add the chain a bit movement so i'm gonna just click into my comp real quick and pre-comp this chain layer real quick move all the attributes into the main comp and make sure to set the blending mode to screen again i'll make a little marks around my cross sign only on that and duplicate this layer and pull up the marks and set it as subtract in another one then selecting my cross sign layer i'm gonna take this anchor point with this anchor point tool and behind tool the shortcut is y so you can just click y 
and put the anchor point right around here not in the middle in the top of it like this and we're gonna animate the rotation real quick so let's just make the rotation like this in the beginning go over here and animate it like that and go a bit further too animate it coming like that and and again like that after your animation is done i'm gonna play with the keyframes a little bit and select those f9 to easy ease and it should look something like this you can also turn on the motion blur if you want so let's just go back to our main comp now and you can see now it looks pretty cool so for now to add all those i'm gonna use my brand new pack which i just launched it is actually two packs bundled in one so you are really getting a lot of value in there grunge default and grunge add-on so the default one doesn't require any plugins to start with but the add-on one will require sapphire so that's why i made it into two packs so it will be available for everyone but if you want both you can download the bundle it comes with a great deal both of the pack have different looks so you're really getting a lot of value in there opening up grunge default for now i'm gonna use black and white glow let's just drag this onto our adjustment layer and trim it till something like here and instantly you'll get this crazy grungy look i love this pack i've been using this pack from a while too like i've been using it on most of my mid videos if you like going for those can carson destroyer only playboy Carti type looks i recommend going with this pack because it is like opinion so anyways i'm gonna open up the ad grain and i'm gonna bring up the size a bit because i want the grain size up a lot bigger so i'm gonna lower down the intensity for sure after bringing the size mm, let's just keep it around two or something like that yeah two looks fine to me then our effect is looking something like this you can see the before and after how my packs helps you to add it faster too like if i didn't have my pack i had to add exposure levels try it on all those stuff and animate those but with my pack it's just one click and you are getting a lot of effects in just one pack and i have two so it's over 50 plus access in those bundle it also comes with overlay if you want so our first clip is done so i'm gonna copy this buggy man face layer first let's just copy that and put it on our second clip right here and i'm not gonna animate the scale this time and i'm gonna lower down the scale first like that and put it in his face like about there let's just go to first frame and adjust it again we're gonna put it on the second guy face like they did in the video so you can do this effect with any photo you like you just have to add the black and white and all those effects and you can do it with your artist face too so it's pretty cool so i'm gonna hit p to bring up the position and track it around his face like that you can also mess with the scale as you go so after that we'll have this rough track of the marks in his face doesn't have to be perfect as you can see the effects and stuff will cover it up but at the last i'm gonna add like a luma key and set it to create out brighter and bring up the threshold for now and just hit the stoppers in there go a bit further until the last and just set it to zero so it disappears like this maybe putting it about like here or something like would work to create those black circles and effects like they done in the video i'm gonna use my preset pack too if you don't have my preset pack you can just create an adjustment layer as usual and add like a cc vignette cc vignette and put it in its face and just play with the view of angle and the amount to get what you want but for now i'm gonna use my pack i'm gonna use grunge add-on for now and i'm gonna use the favorite transition from it favorite transition for real i'm gonna open up the keyframes and line it up like that and trim in the beginning trim right where it ends like that and i'm gonna go over to distort chroma and not animate the rotate warp direction and lower down the amount for sure and selecting my cc vignette i'm gonna put it on its face oh uh, at the last i'm gonna 
go and set it to zero so after adding my preset it looks something like this you can see the circle going like that and you can also play with the animations to make it a bit slow so it's like that so it goes in like that you can also play with the view so it it's a bit smaller and now we are almost done but still the transition looks a bit rough to make it a bit smoother i'm gonna create a new null layer real quick and parent both of my second layer like the max layer and the buggy man layer and the video layer into my null and i will disable this adjustment layer for now and hit y and put this anchor point into the buggy man face like that and you can and you can just scale it up we are gonna just create a zoom animation right here and after that make sure to enable your adjustment layer too now it looks much smoother but we can still improve on this so lastly to chop it all off i'm gonna create another adjustment layer and add a little shake from my shake pack real quick oh uh, let's go over to sd and add the best one in here if you don't have my pack you can just use those default effects and create those like if you want to add as sick you're gonna add like as sick but my packs allows you to do that in one click so you don't have to do all of those animation and all those stuff so if you don't have my pack feel free to use those sick also like the finite you can animate it yourself too but if you want to tell save time the link will be in the description for all of my products so let's just add the best one in here and trim it till like here and finally my result looks something like this hope you enjoyed the video and learn something new i try to provide value in my every single video so make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay locked in and if you like the video you can just hit the like button it helps me and it helps this channel too and you can also follow me on instagram so yeah see you in next video peace